As technology advances, computer systems should be getting safer. But how is it possible hackers are still able to get your data? Well, through the number one weak spot of cybersecurity, us humans. It's called social engineering, a slightly different form of hacking. Here's how it works and how you can protect yourself from it. Tricking you into giving up information or doing something you normally wouldn't do. That's social engineering, according to the EU. Hackers gain their victims' trust and gain access to the info they need. Our expert, Dr. William Lissy of Prague's Technical University, researches social engineering. Any kind of weaknesses, any biases of humans um, are open for exploitation. People are compassionate, right? So um, if you are telling them that some somebody close to them needs help, and you are pressuring them this way, like uh, or if you create some sense of urgency and uh, you are making people decide without actually thinking about what they are doing. Like all these are, are common techniques uh, used in, in social engineering and it is heavily based on, on human psychology. This is the world's most famous social engineer. His name is Kevin Mitnick. He supposedly hacked the NSA and the US Ministry of Defense over 100 times. He says by using social engineering, he was able to bypass all technologies, even firewalls. Here's three techniques you should be aware of. Phishing is probably the most known and most frequently used form of social engineering. Have you ever received an email in your account that seemed, well, a little fishy? Hackers can build emails that pretend to be from companies like PayPal or Facebook and ask you to change your password. If you click on the link, you're redirected to a lookalike website and ask for your password. Once the hacker has your account details, they're in and they can do whatever they want with the information. Second, pretexting. Hackers will pose as IT specialists or someone from your bank and call you under a false pretext. They work by first establishing a connection with you. This requires a lot of social skills. Once you trust the caller, they ask you for the information like your bank details or passwords. Third, baiting. Do you know those free USB sticks that are given out at conferences sometimes? Be careful because this little present could be bait. Once you put that USB with malicious software into your device, it can affect your computer with malware and grant the hacker access to all your data. Three ways to protect yourself. Be suspicious. Question emails that look suspicious. It's always good to check the sender's email address. Use multi-factor authentication. This makes it harder for hackers to access your accounts, even if they have your password. Double check. If someone calls or emails you pretending to be your boss or your bank, Call your boss or your bank back on the number you know and make sure it's them. Finally, is social engineering getting more dangerous? And if we look more into the future, then, then AI can actually make all of these things more powerful. They can help to generate believable profiles on, on social networks. They can hold conversation with you uh, to convince you to, like, try to make you trust them. Like they can talk to you for, for days without much cost to them using using some advanced chatbots. And I really believe that eventually uh, the social engineering attacks run by AI systems will be as like so great, perfect and, and believable that without some technical tools, it will be impossible for, for a human to, to just recognize it. And at that point, you will really need some help. What do you think? Should we be more worried about social engineering? 